back to my channel. On today's video, we are going to be reviewing Kylie Skin's Rose Collection. Well, there went Kylie. <laughs> so if you would like to watch my thoughts and opinions on it, please keep on watching. But before you swipe me away or click me out of this video, please like, comment, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you. All right, so I literally got hit by the lazy bus this week. It is my last week of school, so I'm sorry this video is so late. Uh, it said it was gonna be delivered on November 20th, and then it decided to stay in Kansas for four days, and then I finally got it the day before Thanksgiving. Lo and behold, here we are the week after. <laughs> so I bought this so that I can review it for you guys. I am a huge fan of Kylie's skin. I have not really tried any of her body stuff besides the um, coconut body lotion, which I don't think for 20 bucks it's worth it. I don't think I'd be purchasing it again. Here is everything that came in the box. Um, packaging is very simple, very beautiful. So, <laughs> When I was ordering the collection to review for you guys, I noticed I was gonna, usually I buy the bundle because it's just cheaper that way. And if I don't like or want anything, like I can just give it away to somebody. You guys, the packaging is so soft. Like I can't even describe like how soft it is. Um, but anyway, I did get stickers for free in here as well as everything that came in the box. But. So when I was scrolling on my phone, gonna purchase it at 9.59 like everybody does, um, I realized that there was two different bundles and it was just Pure Rose Collection, which was um, the bubble bath, the scrub, and then the sea salts. And then there was the whole bundle with the candles. Well, the difference in price was $80 opposed to $130. So I was like, I really don't need the candles and I didn't want to pay the extra $30 for them. But then I was scrolling and Kylie, what are you thinking? <laughs> like, For two, I believe 12 ounce candles, they were $56 for the bundle. And I was just like, that is absolutely insane. Who is going to pay that? I can't believe there's people out there who actually do, but the candles, like, I don't know. I've been supporting a small business, purchasing the candles that my hairstylist makes. So to me, I pay, I believe $14 per the 12 ounce candle. For, so $56 for two little candles was just absolutely ridiculous. And I didn't, I just did decided not to buy it. <laughs> but anyway, so let's start off with the rose bubble bath. Like I said, the packaging is always, really sleek i don't know if you're gonna be able let me see if i could turn down my light for a second there you go so this is what it looks like it's just this very pink sleek ombre turn my light back on and here is the bubble bath Ooh, it is a little bit oh ugh, it's a little damaged okay that's fine um but it's wet ah, okay straight out of the package it is i'm gonna go clean up <laughs> so just by rinsing this off my hand um it is very soft it does smell like rose but i don't know i don't know why it just kind of smells to me like grandma <laughs> like not exactly but similar um and i had a feeling when i purchased this that it was going to be a very similar consistency to the face wash and i feel like after rinsing it off it was it was very soft uh, very bubbly like it's supposed to be and then here is the rose body scrub I did not try I think the coconut body scrub I just never purchased it um, but let's see what the consistency of this is I really like the walnut scrub and I know it's controversial and everyone talks crap about it but I really like the walnut scrub so this smells the same okay i don't know if like grandma smells like gardenia but or roses but it does smell like rose roses this is very soft and let me see if i can get up close for you okay so this scrub feels like sugar kind of I think that's what's in there 
the sugar. But it's very soft. It smells good. Is it my favorite scent? No, I always like coconut stuff. So I probably should have just went with the coconut scrub when it first came out. But it's it smells nice. Another reason I was definitely excited to purchase this collection was because this was my roughest semester ever. It literally tried me. Like I felt like I was almost on the verge of quitting and I've never felt like that before. And I definitely am in some need of some self-care Sunday. So I was, that was another reason why I wanted to buy the collection was because I'm like, I just need to decompress when this is over. The most thing that I, the thing that I was excited the most about was definitely this sea salt um, or rose bath salt. I don't know why I keep calling it sea salt. So on top comes this cute little spatula. And okay, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I literally thought it was going to be like the Clarifying Collections mask and I'll go bring that for you for comparison. So I literally thought from the photos of this that it was gonna be this size. <laughs> and this, I really like it. Um, so here's, you can see how big it is. Um, but, if you look on the inside of this it just I don't know it doesn't seem as big as I expected it to be so I thought that the salts were going to be as big as this and I'm glad that it's not so let um, me see if it says how many ounces or whatever but so when I first saw the salts I was excited I thought the colors were amazing I thought it was pretty cool and I thought that it was innovative, like I had never seen anything like this before. So I thought, let me see. It doesn't smell like rose. Oh, there are pieces of rose in here though. If you can see, or something, it looks like there are pieces. There you go, there's one. So this smells good. It does not smell like rose. It smells like something else that I can't pinpoint. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna insert footage because like I said, I thought this was innovative. I thought it was cool. Like the colors were nice, something that I had never seen before. And then I went to go buy, <laughs> to go get Ginia with my fiance and they told us it was a 40 minute wait. So there was a Marshalls next door and I was like, oh cool, like let's go to Marshalls. And I apologize because only half the video came out, but I'm going to insert it here. So you can see this was, okay, the bundle was like 80 bucks. So I'm not exactly sure how much this was. And this is um, tiny. I don't exactly know how many ounces or whatever this is oh 10 10 ounces so that bottle was 6.99 for this big thing of like himalayan salt i believe and i was just so shocked when i saw it because i was like wait a minute i just bought this and i think it was probably like 30 bucks or something and it was there was 6.99 at freaking marshall's but anyway um let me see you're supposed to add a couple of scoops to this to warm uh running bath water and allow the salts to dissolve and then you should just supposed to unwind and soak for 50, at least 15 minutes so this kind of reminds me of like um epsom salt i don't know if it exactly has the same it says de-stress after a long day soothing sea salts blend stress releasing botanicals this bath accessory not only helps gently cleanse the skin but rich mineral content to help nourish and calm the skin so i don't think it's supposed to be totally relaxing like um epsom salt but it says it's supposed to nourish your skin so it probably has other benefits than the epsom salt so yeah i'm excited to try it um i will link down below my clear skin routine which is basically all kylie skins stuff that i've purchased in the past with an update for you guys to watch um because there are things that i have purchased from her that i absolutely cannot live without and then there's things that i have purchased from them before that i will never probably purchase again not because it didn't well 
not be not everything like there's two items that I would not purchase again and it's not because they didn't work for me I just don't care to use them like the face scrub the face wash I wouldn't use just because I'm not a face wash person and then recently the clarifying stick in her uh, collection I just didn't care for so things like that so it is in that video I will link it down below but anyway thank you guys so much for watching sorry this video is so late and let me know your thoughts and opinions on it if you purchased anything uh, let me know and once again thank you for watching and please subscribe bye